Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on Run Tippy. So, a Home Assistant is to where you can centralize all your home automation and, and, cre and create automations, create triggers and actions, and make things happen. It's so awesome. And Run Tippy is to where you can um, easily install uh, Docker Compose apps, and it it, it it makes it to where you don't have to see the Docker Compose CLI at all. You, you don't have to work with the command line. You can e easily click a few buttons and get things installed. It it runs a proxy, so the Docker containers aren't exposed. And it makes it to where you can proxy in the traffic with traffic. So, a, a little bit about this series. I'm going over ho home labs. We're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So on the Run Tippy App Store, I'm going to go into Apps, and then I'm going to type up here in the Go to File, Home. Then I'm going to go down to, down to Home Assistant. And then in the met metadata, this is what the App Store sees. This is the description for the App Store. And then there's the logo for Home Assistant. And now in the config.json, this is the, uh, the config for, for the App Store. So the proxy will be running on 8.1.2.3 and it's available, of course, to HIPPY version, a version is stable, and then get, it gives info about uh, the author and a description. So over here in the Docker Compose, we're going to be using Docker Compose version 3. We're going to create some services. So the first service is Home Assistant. We're going to name the container name Home Assistant. And then the image is coming from GitHub. So, so GitHub and then Home Assistant, Home Assistant, and then the stable version. We're, we're going to cre create a volume right here. And then the app data directory is going to be uh, put, put in here dy dynamically. And then it's going to be in the config. And then now config on the container side. So this is the host side and now in the container side. You, you can't change the container side uh, even if you had... Uh, it, even if you were able to edit this. And now restart unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. Now we're gonna give it privileged access and then network mode is host. So it's gonna run directly on the host uh, side and all the ports will, will, will be automatically uh, uh, mapped on the host side. So, that's about the Docker Compose. So now we're going to start in our Run Tippy. And we're going to go to App Store up here. Then we're going to search for uh, the, the Home Assistant. And then here it is. Then I'm going to click it. And then you'll see a description of what the metadata uh, was in that repo. And then you'll see base information. So it's going to use the Run Tippy's IP address, and then you're going to add 8123 on the end to actually go to the Home Assistant. So now, I'm going to go into the install right here. And I'm going to press install. This is downloading the Docker container off the GitHub uh, packages. So it's it's booting up the Docker Compose in the background. This could take a bit. Okay, now it's up. The app installed successfully. So we can stop it here. We can stop the uh, the container and Docker Compose here. And then we can go over here, open, and we can go to the IP address right here and 8123 on the end. So you run to the IP address and then 8123 on the end. So I'm gonna go into it and see if it works. 
Okay, well, we got to the setup screen, so Home Assistant is up and running. So now we can get to setting it up. So I'm gonna walk you through the setup the UI now. So I'm gonna go create my smart home. Then I'm gonna put a name in, so Big Bear. I'm gonna put a password in. Make sure you remember this because this is how you log in to your Home Assistant. And then now I'm gonna say create account. And I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna put a country in. I'm gonna just put a random country in. And then now you can and see analytics. So you can turn these on if you like. So I'm gonna say next. And then now it says it, it found some devices and I have a lot of devices so I'm sure it found things. And um, so finish. So now you can see it set up so you can get to setting up your home automation. So I just went over step by step on getting Home Assistant running on Run Tippy. I showed you the back end. I showed you how the App Store works a little bit. And I showed you what it's doing uh, in, in the background, uh, how it's getting the information in the App Store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link down in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.